here to talk about Force Asia. Uh, so some of you might heard about it from the Force Asia Summit, which happens every year in Singapore in March. But what is it about Force Asia? So I have uh, four minutes to talk about what we did during the past 11 years. Uh, so <laughs> <laughs> So uh, very quickly, so uh, the story we started in 2009, the whole idea we have Five Force Asia, we want to foster open source ad ad adoption in Asia, try to show people the opportunity, uh, knowledge sharing and uh, innovation that come out of the community. So we started as a small event and then 11 years later, I want to show what we have achieved so far. So if you look on uh, the Force Asia uh, website, so these are all the projects that are coming out of the Force Asia community. We have now 30,000 members and about 4,000 core contributors in different um, projects. So SUSE AI is an open source um, artificial intelligence uh, that is an alternative to Google Home and we have our open source hardware being produced uh, and launched last year and distributed um, globally all over the world. You can pass this and I also have the best metric that I showed it yesterday. Also how open hardware that built by the Force Asia community. We have our own search engine, our own uh, event management system, everything open source um, with a lot of contributors. And I want to add on what Duane said earlier about the Hack Auto, uh, Hacktoberfest. We also have one contest that uh, um, focus on Asian con contributors that called Code Heat that happen every year. Um, in the Code Heat program, let me s do this quickly. Code Heat. Uh, so the contest, so every year, so we have been running it for the past uh, three seasons, and every season we got 700 contributors from Asia to contribute to um, various Force Asia projects, and we got 2,000 pull request marks uh, around that every season. But the difference with October 1st, every single pull request associated with one issue. So you cannot just randomly fix a, a typo or, or change a, a, a readme file to, to get more. So the counting pull request in the Force Asia project is really with one issue on our GitHub repository. Um, beside that, uh, so we also run Force Asia Academy, which offer courses at university to teach people um, the latest programming language, the framework that being used in the in the community. And a lot of students. So every year in our uh, program at university, we train about two thousand students uh, to learn about Git and how to use uh, Git and contribute to open source project. How much time? Um, this is one and, uh, one and a half. Okay, so I still have time. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I mentioned earlier we have one event. This is the signature event of Force Asia happened every year during the past eleven years in Singapore. The next one gonna be in March nineteen to twenty second um, in Singapore. Uh, but beside this, we also have a lot of smaller. Um, in the region. So if you go to the Force Asia event, so I will, I just learned about Force Doc events earlier. I will add all our events here into to the website. So we have events in Sri Lanka, in Thailand, in Vietnam. The whole idea that people are not be able to travel. So we want to bring the knowledge to them to get more people engaged in the open source community. So um, the reason why here I want to connect with people and share a little bit about what we are doing. Um, we are growing and, and I think that we play a very important role in the open source movement in Asia and if any so I heard a lot of people doing metrics today if you're looking for an organization that's not only GNOME and OpenStack they are also us out there in Asia so if you want to do research or do any metric you can uh, you are welcome to check out our repository and get help <laughs> <laughs> thank you